Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Mona Lisa Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is your message for May 2021. Let's get started with a reading. The first card is of the language of flower deck and you got tuberose, desire. Be certain of where you place your passion. This card tells us that you are a passionate person and you have deep-rooted desires to expand like this plant, Aries. This plant has a lot of roots in the ground that always expand and so you feel about your desires. You would like your desires to expand in order to experience joy and to experience freedom. Now let's look at the next cards and learn what your desires are at this time. The next card is from the Surrender deck and you got Surrender to Success. Yes, Aries, you desire success. This door, this gateway, once you step into it, it promises a world of possibilities if you allow it to happen. To surrender means to let it happen, to lean into it and to go with the flow. So, Step into the light and accept to experience abundance as in success. The next card is Adjacent Possibilities. Aries, this card is the equivalent of the Seven of Cups in traditional tarot. You have more than one desire. You have seven doors. And that's fantastic as long as you can manage and balance multiple choices. Here we have the number six. Two plus four is six. And six is the number of balance. Remember that, Aries, to make a balanced choice. Try to limit your aspirations, your ideas, and plans to a minimum. If you are an excellent organizer, you can handle many ideas at once. If you're not that good of an organizer, it is better to focus on one or two. Make sure you check out all these doors. You verify that they open and close well. And you look beyond them. What's in there? Is it welcoming? Does it suit me? Otherwise, you would be disappointed. So. Aries, do your due diligence. The next card is protection. Aries, I feel I need to say to you to protect your ideas. Your ideas that have to do with your future career or if you are thinking of launching a business, protect your ideas. Protect them in the sense of not revealing them just to anybody. Protect your ideas and plans as if they were a child. Nurture them with love and care 
up until the official release of your business or until you get hired from a company. And in the meantime, hold your plans dear to your heart to allow them to be stimulated and to further grow in the meantime. By doing that, Aries, your ideas and plans will inspire you even more. It could be that some of you will become coaches and you're working on releasing transformative tools that help others to seek your information. Why do I say transformative? Because I see some butterflies. I see one here and another one here and butterflies are transformation symbols of transformation. And here, in regard to coaching, teaching, this could be very well also a hotel corridor that leads to the seminar room where you're holding a big event about personal transformation. And people come to you, they seek your help and assistance because you know how to aid others in their transformation. The next card is the Emperor. And can you believe what's written underneath this card? Logic and organization will increase your success. And that's exactly what I said to you in this previous card here of the adjacent possibilities. Too many possibilities? No. There needs to be a balance especially if you're not that good of an organizer. But even if you're a good organizer, you will not pick seven opportunities. You will pick one or two, one or two ideas, one or two plans. Pick only as many as you can really, really manage. Your wise choice will increase your success. This is the message from Archangel Michael to you. And he is here with the world in his hands. And you are here with the world in your hands. Aries, his sword of light will help you release anything getting into your way. The energy of this card of the Emperor advises you to avoid chaos, to be disciplined with your choices, to be organized when you deal with your goals and plans, your desires and passions. Whatever profession areas you desire to pursue, it will be a leadership role. The emperor is a leader. And you are somebody like the emperor who is concerned about the greater good of all. Your, uh, as the Emperor Aries, your approach is from the heart, from the perspective of love. That's why we see here your heart chakra surrounded by light. Main goal by looking at your options 
all these doors is to create guidelines for others to follow in order to experience a fulfilled life. Coach, teacher or whatever is your role of leadership in a company, it could be the HR manager or another position in leadership. No areas that you can do it because you are passionate about it and it will take you to global success. The next card is respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path of love. Aries, these words are very specific and similar to your emperor energy. These words are an expression of love toward anybody. And you respect the individuality of every person that seeks your advice. You will not judge them since you're approaching them from the viewpoint of love. Instead, you will, as a coach, motivate them, demonstrating respect generates respect and the people are immediately aware of your level of integrity with your emperor energy. They are also aware of your willingness to facilitate as a role model. Aries, you're so inspiring to many. The last card is of the deck by Daniela Port and you got So much is a cry for love. Aries, we just said a moment ago that many will come to you to seek your advice. As a role model in the Emperor energy, you will demonstrate love in all situations. Your heart chakra is radiating love and light. And you have a deep sense of compassion with every interaction. Aries, so many people will come to you with a cry for love and they come to you because you know the tool of how to transform fear into love. And now, as we are in these ascension times, this is of utmost importance to allow those people that come to you to ascend, to ascend from fear and move into love. And there is no better way to teach than in form of seminars, whether online or in a physical space. Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know at the bottom in the comment area what your thoughts are and please subscribe and like my videos. I see you again in June. In the